Hello, this is Ensign with Game Leap, and in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to master your first player as Lilia. So, Lilia is an interesting champion because she's essentially impervious to any and all invades. She's simply too fast, too healthy, and clears so quick that no champions can really compete with her. There are very, very few champions that can actually kill Lilia in her own jungle. So in today's video, I'm gonna be teaching you how to clear as Lilia and basically how to keep your passive up 100% of the time. It's really, really important on this champion that you make sure that you're constantly able to get your Blooming Blows passive up, right? You wanna make sure that you constantly have this move speed on because this is basically your safety net, right? If something happens and you get invaded, you can just run away if there is another champion in your general radius. The uptime of your passive also helps you run around your jungle. It's how you're able to kite mobs efficiently and get from place to place way faster. When we do our red buff here, we want to make sure that we're getting two autos for every one auto that he's getting and that we're basically going to be hitting our Q as often as possible and ensuring that we're hitting it in the true damage portion, like so. So our red's actually going to burn to death here. We're going to walk over here, aggro all of these, try to slap them with the true damage if we can, and then go ahead and bonk them with the branch, like so. You can see just how quick we end up clearing this camp. Now we actually want to keep this guy alive for a little bit so we're able to walk over here and then smack him with our Q. As you can see we have four stacks of our movement speed passive and we're able to walk over here and hit all of these with the true damage portion and then bonk him with the branch like so. So you can either keep the big ones or the small ones alive uh, when you are trying to go from camp to camp. It doesn't really matter too much to be completely honest. Um, there are some people that like to kill the big ones or some people like to kill the small ones. I personally don't care that much. I usually just try to walk over and ensure that my passive is going to be up no matter what. And I think that that's how most people should try to play Lilia. As you can see here, we're basically done with the top side of our jungle. We have another charge of smite. Scuttle crab is not quite up. So what we're able to do is hit three, do our gromp like so, and just wait for a crab. If anybody wants to invade us, it's really hard for them to kill us because we've constantly been on four stacks. And even though this is a leashless clear, we're going to be at crab before it even spawns. We're going to walk away here. We still have our four stacks. Crab comes up and then we're able to hit it. We're still maintaining four stacks the entire time. There is not a single champion in the game that is going to be able to chase down a 405 move speed champion this early on. If you do take this clear, you're going to be absolutely zooming. And if you get Crab, you could see just how much movement speed you get. Lilia is completely and utterly busted if you play her correctly. Let's go ahead and discuss what we did here. We do our red buff. We want to make sure that we're starting with auto Q like so. You have to actually take a step back. I'm not sure if you guys notice this. Whenever you go for your Q, even if you're auto attacking, you want to make sure that you're stepping into your buffs. That way you're still in the range of your Q. If we don't take that little step like this, we actually outrun our Q the vast majority of times, as you could see right about now. We're actually going to end up outrunning our Q a whole bunch of times if we don't actually take that little step back. So that step back will actually help you uh, be consistent with how you're hitting your Q. You do have really strong damage over time on Lilia, thanks to Dream Laden Bow which basically means that you only have to hit your camps a couple of times before they end up burning to death. So what ends up causing your Q to whiff is when the jungle monster goes and auto attacks you as you're walking away, like so. Sometimes their attack frame is so long that they actually get stuck in place and they'll dodge your Q accidentally. We could see this really, really easily with blue. You wanna make sure that you're using your Q, not when it's auto attacking, because if you use it when it's auto attacking, like so, you can actually outrun it and then miss your Q completely. So that's something to keep in mind whenever you're playing Lilia. You don't really want to be uh, outrunning your Q, right? And then eventually, when you are strong enough, you can actually do the double camp thing here. Pull both of these together like so, and do both of these at once with your really strong AoE. This is something that I would do on first clear if I have a really good leash. If you have somebody that is going to be giving you an amazing leash, like a set or something, then you can definitely pull your blue and your gromp together. However, do note that this is a little bit risky if you are not super great at the champion, right? So I don't recommend this for new players. If you do want to double pull, what you want to do is this and pull these together like so and make sure that you're hitting both of them with your spells. The ideal spot to stand when you are double pulling is right here, just like this. You want to ensure that you're standing where these little trees meet here. So that way you're able to keep the patience meter on the jungle camps filled and that you're able to kind of walk back and forth without pissing off the camp and making it reset. So right here on this side, you want to stand right about there. Over here, you want to stand on this little blue mushroom. And if you're going to be pulling your raptors together, there's a little cutaway 
um, right about here where you want to be standing and you can pull your red and your raptors together to double clear them really, really fast. Mess around with this a little bit by yourself and tell me what you think about this. Um, Lilia's first clear is really easy. Just make sure that you keep your passive up, make sure that you're hitting your Q constantly and that you're not actually making yourself move out of range. It's very, very simple to play Lilia at a high level. Just make sure that you're basically allowing things to burn to death and that your passive's constantly up and you've essentially mastered the champ. She's really simple, really easy uh, to play and incredibly, incredibly effective. So anyways, this is Unsung with Game Leap. Thank you all for watching and I hope you all have a wonderful day. I'll see you in the next one.